Hey, what's up, guys? <clears throat> Mr. Myos is here. And um, this is uh, the next section of uh, 7-3 for BC Calculus. We're looking at, I'm going to talk about a specific type of series right now in this video called a geometric series. Um, in a geometric series, uh, we have a, what's called a common ratio, and that's basically um, if we can multiply the same number to each term to get the next number, uh, the next term, then it's a geometric series. So um, a lot of times, not a lot of times, uh, the general form of a geometric series is a uh, is an exponential. So that common ratio um, r is going to be raised to uh, a certain power. So the general form of a uh, uh, t not not to a certain power, but it's going to be raised to the power of your um, that of the term that you're changing. So basically, look, the general form is a times r to the n, where r is your common ratio. So it's like the number that you're multiplying each time. And n is your term number, right? So <clears throat> the important thing here is you might have learned it a little bit different. You might have learned it as like um, a to the n or um, a sub 1. Sorry, guys. All right, answer the phone. So here we go. Um, so in a, in a geometric series, guys, in a geometric series, if, uh, if R, <clears throat> the, number that's, uh, the number that we have that's raised to our N, if R, the absolute value of R great, is greater than or equal to 1, it's basically a fraction that is, um, you know, not between negative 1 and 1, um, the series is going to diverge. And uh, that's because it's going to go uh, either get really, really big or really, really small um, and not go to zero. And if R, if the absolute value of R is less than one, basically a fraction uh, between one and negative one, uh, then the geometric series is going to converge. Okay, so this is called, this geometric series is, I mean, sometimes they call it the geometric series test for convergence. Um, but basically, if we have an infinite geometric series, it's going to converge to a sub 1 or a over 1 minus r. You might have learned this in a, uh, in a previous math class, but um, this, is, this is the idea of um, the geometric series test of convergence. So let's take a look at a few examples here, and we'll get going. So determine if these series converge or di diverge, and if possible, find the sum of the series. So this right here, this is um, 3 times uh, 1 half to the n. It's another way to write that, okay? Now, this is, the this is in the form of a geometric series where r, r is 1 half and a is 3. So notice here that r is 1 half, which is the absolute value of r, is in fact less than 1. So this geometric series, this is going to converge. What is it going to converge to? Well, we're gonna, that's going to be a over 1 minus r. So a is 3. 1 minus 1 half is 3 over 1 half, which is going to converge to 6. All right. Now, if we look at this one, this, this again, this is a geometric series. Normally, we're looking for a fraction or something raised to a power. This a is equal to 1, and the r is equal to 3 halves. Well, 3 halves, um, the absolute value of that is going to be greater than 1. So this is going to diverge. And what we're going to say is we're going to say this is going to diverge by the geometric series test. All right, GST, the geometric series test. Okay, so let's take a look at the next one. The next one we have 4. 4 is our A, and this is our R. R is equal to negative 1 half, and since... Um, since the absolute value of R is going to be less than 1, um, this is going to converge by the geometric series test. And it's going to converge to 4 over 1 minus negative 1 half, okay, which is 4 over 3 halves. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. Back it up. Back it up, my Estes. A is not 4. I got to plug in this. I got to watch out what I do here. N is equal to 1. So I got to plug that in here. 
4 times negative 1 half to the 1 power. That's going to be 4 times negative 1 half, which is negative 2. Negative 2 is A. And I'm sorry if you can't see that. I'll move it over here. Um, my face might be in the way. Um, I always forget that the, the, it comes out a little bigger than I expect. So uh, I got to plug in this 1 in here. I get negative 2. So my actually my A, my first term is negative 2. So I have negative 2 over 3 halves, which is going to be negative 4 thirds. And that's what it's going to converge to. All right, so we can uh, we can see if a geometric series converges by using the geometric series test, and that's basically looking at the R value, whether the absolute value of R is less than 1 or greater than or equal to 1. Um, find, a fraction, find the fraction form of a repeating decimal 0 0.08 using a geometric series. So here's what we're going to do. 0 0.08 is a repeating decimal that goes 0 0.08 plus 0 0.00. Um, 0, 0.08, right, because, you know, this looks like this, 0 0.08, 0, 0.08, 0, 0.08, 0, 0.08, 0, 0.08, and so forth, plus point. So this, this part right here takes care of this part, and then we need, oops, we need the next part, so 0, 0.00, 0, 0, 0 um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 8. And so forth, right? Okay, well, this is going to be 8 over 100. This is going to be 8 over 10,000. This is going to be 8 over 1 million. 1 million. And so forth. So what is A? A is 8 one hundredths. And R is 1 over 100, right? Because I'm going every... One, I'm multiplying by 100, 1 over 100. So this is going to converge to 8 over 100 over 1 minus 1 over 100. All right, that's going to be 8 over 100 over uh, 99 over 100, which is going to be 8 99ths. That's our answer. All right, so in general, guys, um, you know, a con convergence of a series is not as easy as convergence of a sequence. Um, in a convergence of a sequence, all you got to do is take the limit as n approaches infinity, and if it equals a number, L, then it converges to L. But in a series, that's not true. A series, um, if, it, if the limit goes to anything other than zero, it might not converge. In fact, uh, a series cannot converge unless the limit approaches zero. So the terms must have uh, must approach a limit of zero for it, for this uh, series to converge. So convergence of series is is not as easy as convergence of sequences, and because so, we actually have to do quite there's quite a, a few number of tests that we would need to do to see if um, the series in fact converges. We know one, and the first one I just went over was the geometric series test for convergence. So in the next video, I'll go over another type of convergence. Talk to you later, guys.